So I'm gonna just quickly show you the series one sets and then unbag series two and compare the two. It says there's 18 limited edition figures to collect in them. Here's the back. This is the sheet of paper that comes inside of the series one bag to show you all 18 characters. And on the back, it gives you instructions for some of the more complicated characters. And then for series two, they give you the same sheet showing all 18 characters. And on the back shows you quick instructions for their more complicated characters. First off, we have Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. He has the smaller Lego leg that do not move individually and they're shorter. He has a regular sized body and a unique headpiece since he's not a human. He has designs on the back of his head and back of his body and he has a little chest hair. Then we have the alien and Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story. Just like Stitch, the alien comes with the smaller feet that do not move individually. He has a unique headpiece like Stitch because he's an alien. Oh, Buzz has regular feet. He comes with his body suit and the wings pop on individually. So you put his suit on first, it goes around his neck and then Buzz's head. And then he has a half dome like his helmet is open. I would have liked to have had the helmet a full dome closing. I guess for cost or it might look weird because it might not be a perfect dome. Aladdin and Genie. So Aladdin has this hair piece with no head on the back. And unfortunately they both come with the lamp. Which is weird because there's only one lamp. I think Aladdin should have came with a tiny monkey, Abu. And it makes sense for the genie to come with the lamp. The genie has a unique headpiece which is his ears and bald head. And his hair is a separate piece. And he has a unique uh, bottom because instead of feet he has the little genie smoke that he comes out of, which is only one Lego peg. Here we have Maleficent with her unique headpiece. She has the big robe body piece, like a mage. She has her staff with a crystal on top. She comes with two pieces to make her cape. So for the bottom half of her cape, you would put this around her neck. And then for the top half, make sure the purple is showing in the front. Just like that. And so we have Maleficent. Then for Alice in Wonderland, we have Alice and the Cashmere Cat. Alice has the Drink Me bottle and some sort of cake or snack. She comes with, comes with a bottom skirt portion, which goes around her legs. And she has no head in the back, but a cute hair piece with her blonde hair and bow on top. The cashmere cat has the short legs and a tail piece that goes around the legs. And he has a unique head piece because he's a cat, not a human. One thing to keep in mind is that his tail has to go upwards because if it goes downwards, his tail stops his feet from sticking in any Lego base. So you have to flip the tail so it goes upwards. And now he fits on the base. We have Daisy and Donald Duck. They both have the duck tail piece that goes upwards. They both have a unique head piece for the duck head. They both have a unique top hat piece. Donald has the sailor hat. And Daisy has her little bow. Then we have Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Minnie has a little bow piece just like Daisy Duck, which you can put on Mickey. Because Mickey's head contains a hole. And Minnie contains the same style skirt bottom as Alice. 
They both have regular size individual moving legs. And obviously a unique mouse head. From The Incredibles, we have Mr. Incredible and Syndrome. Mr. Incredible is holding a picture of his old blue outfit. This is either a newspaper article or a book or something. He has his little blonde hair piece, no face on the back. Syndrome has his crazy orange Dragon Ball Z style sticking up hair. He has a cape and his angry face. He's also holding either a computer control for the robot blueprint plans or something. Now we have Peter Pan and Captain Hook. Peter Pan has his two little daggers. I like that. He has his unique headpiece with his elf ears. No extra head on the back. Captain Hook has a really big hair and captain's hat. He has no head on the back. He has his unique hook the gold in the hand and his pirate sword. Arg. And then lastly from the Little Mermaid we have the Sea Witch Ursula with Neptune's trident. She has a crazy hairdo. And she comes in this crazy huge octopus body. She doesn't even need a base. She can stand perfectly fine without one. This is her true form. And then we have Ariel. Her base holds three pieces. She has her gorgeous red hair. And her mermaid body. Here she has a little clam with a jewel in it. You can also have her close the clam and hold the clam from, from the back here. It fits nicely in her Lego ha hand. And then the jewel. It's in her other hand. Look what I found! So that is Ariel. Series 2 contains some characters, as you can see, that adds to the movies from Series 1 and then some new movies. And starting with number 1, we have the classic Mickey Mouse from the Steamboat. So he has his black and white sailor bottom, his just plain black body, he has his black and white head. The dimensions are basically the exact same. Here he has his black and white and he has the steamboat steering wheel which does have the Lego piece that you can put in and have it rotate if you build your own steamboat. For the minifigure it just counts as a prop for him to hold. Minnie Mouse has a lot more pieces than Mickey. Girls like to accessorize. She has a black and white skirt same polka dot skirt instead of pink her black and white mouse head i seem to have two of her hats i guess that's a packing error so i guess whoever packed mines gave me an extra hat for mickey over here and then this i believe is a life preserver that you find on the boat for when you have to abandon ship or it's a toilet seat so there we have Minnie and Mickey in color form, black and white form. Okay, so the next four we have from DuckTales. Donald Duck's nephews Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and Scrooge McDuck. So the nephews all come with the shorter legs because they're smaller. Put their duck tail. He has a nice round headpiece. He has his red baseball cap. The accessory he comes with is a book that actually comes in two parts and this seems to be some sort of compass. So you could either have him hold the compass and book separately like that or it looks like 
there's room to put the compass here inside the book and it closes where you can have him hold it he's holding an open book Dewey they just have different colored bodies actually they all have the same headpiece so Dewey I believe only has one slingshot accessory but my pack came with two so he's supposed to be holding one slingshot like this but since I have two I don't know if every pack gives you two as a spare he has two slingshots and then the last one is Louie he is green this I am not sure what it is confirm in the comments to me this kind of looks like a flashlight so he's supposed to have one flashlight but they gave me two in my pack so now he has two flashlights and then we have Scrooge McDuck the adult size legs and body whoops keep forgetting the duck tail the duck tails tail I like how Lego did their tail pieces I think it's a cute way to show it and again I have two coins and two of his walking sticks he's supposed to be holding Mr. Scrooge and he has his top hat accessory which fits on the top of his head and there we have Scrooge McDuck and the three nephews there's a lot more classic Disney characters in series two the next two are the pieces of Chip and Dale this is interesting because they both have the children smaller feet but they are individually movable and not solid as one piece I believe this one is Chip, the darker toned fur, and I believe this is an acorn. There he is. And this one should be Dale with the big red nose. And I guess this is a whole sack of acorns. It's a whole bag. And there we have. Chip and Dale, little rascals. Well, they come in their own individually wrapped bags within the bags. So here we have the pieces of Elsa and Anna from Disney's Frozen. The most popular thing to come out since sliced bread. Elsa's dress piece with her top. I believe it goes on this way so you can see this crystal snow on the front whoa and her hair piece is very unique it's actually made out of rubber and she has a giant snowflake that she can cast out from her magical hands here we have Anna with her dress piece so the back part of her dress is a different cloth material it is very soft so that it can bend back. She has a cute little winky face with her little freckles on the side. Here is her dual ponytail hair piece. It's made out of rubber, just like her sister's. And here she has a lantern accessory. We have Jasmine and Jafar from, where are they? Aladdin! To go with Aladdin and Genie. So building Jasmine first. She comes in her nice dress. Printed on the Lego body parts. There's her smiling head. Her nice, it's the same material as the frozen hair pieces. I guess it's easier to manufacture it in rubber instead of the original hard plastic I'm having trouble getting it to fit though and this is exactly what I'm talking about here so she has a pigeon a small little pigeon that she holds in her hand just like that as her accessory so I don't know why they couldn't have made Abu a small little monkey and given that to Aladdin for his accessory because Aladdin doesn't need the lamp because Genie comes with the lamp. It's redundant to have two of the same accessory. 
Now we have the old Jafar. But you're so old. Bruh. Robe like bottom piece. A cape, which I am assuming the red part gets shown. I'm not sure if the black is supposed to be in the front or the red is the front. I'm going with the red. I'm missing his headpiece. Oh, Anna took it. There's his ugly face. Oh, wow. Jafar actually has two heads. So he has an angry one. And he has a I'm not impressed one. Whoops, I put his head on too early. He has this weird like... It's the it's his little collar that sticks up like that. And his helmet. I had the collar on upside down. There we go. Mm, I'm not impressed. And then he has his scepter snake head to hypnotize. Kinda wish he came with Iago, the red bird, as an accessory as well. The Sultan would be nice to have as well. We have the pieces to Hercules and Hades. So let's start with Hades. So just like Ursula, Ursula has this big bottom to be her octopus tentacles. Hades has a similar big base, but it's like his smoke. There's tiny little blue lines to show you it's the front. He has his nice blue head. Whoa. His hair piece looks like it's a separate piece, but I believe they glued it on. So it is not removable. And he comes with the standard Lego flames. I think they should have made his flames blue. They went through all the trouble to make blue transparent hair. They should have made the same blue transparent flames for his hands. And then here we have Hercules. Comes with a lot of accessories actually. So we have the standard Hercules body and legs. He has an angry face when fighting Hades and his happy face. This is Hercules hairpiece. Hey ladies. And once again I got double accessories, two daggers. But he's supposed to hold one. On the picture it shows him holding it in his right hand. And he has a shield with a handle. With Zeus's lightning bolt. And there he is. Hey! Here are the pieces of Sally and Jack Skellington from Nightmare Before Christmas. There's some very nice details on Sally's body here. Really impressed. She has a dual head. The only difference is her mouth is either opened or closed. She has a hard plastic hairpiece, not rubber. And again, I got two copies of her flower accessory. So it comes with a base and a top piece for her flower. Got some extra detail and I have two of them. So there's Sally with her flower accessory. Here's Jack Skellington. He comes with a lot of pieces. So there's his legs and top. And this is his little collar, which I believe goes on like that. It's a bat. So I forgot that there's instructions. So the instructions say to put it on like this and then put his body part on so it's like a bottom pants piece on the back then he has his back collar and then his head he only has one face on the head and he's bald but he comes with a very cool accessory it's a present box and he has little snowflake presents so in the instructions, it says to put two in here. It looks like only two would fit. The third one sticks out. I got four pieces. Got some extras. Here's the top part of the gift. And it just snaps on like that. So just like a box, the entire lid comes off. It's actually a really cool accessory. And there we have Jack and Sally. I'm actually going to give Jack the other flower like... It was a gift from Sally. Or maybe Jack gave it to Sally as a gift from him. And now we're down to the last two, number 17 and 18. From The Incredibles, that is surprisingly not Elastigirl. So instead of adding more of The Incredibles family, 
they added Edna and Frozone. But Edna has the small child feet because she's a short character. She comes with a double face head, a happy face, and a not impressed face. Let's give her the happy face. And then she comes with a very unique headpiece with the giant glasses that magnify her eyes. The eyes cover the character's headpiece and it looks way more like her actual character with the giant eyes. She has her mode purse or accessory makeup bag and a cup of tea. I once again I got two cups of tea as a bonus accessory. And then funny enough here Frozone actually comes with two bases. Frozen ice dish comes with a regular size adult legs. Frozone body. Here's his Frozone head. He doesn't have eyes drawn on but instead he has his visor. To put something under his base and you can shoot his ice so it looks like you can put this on his ice base. I'm not sure what the point of that is. I guess to make it look like he is floating. If anyone has a good idea why they decide to put this on the base, please let me know. And he has some sort of unique Lego piece here. It's supposed to be his ice powers shooting out, but I wonder how it works. Do you just squeeze it like this? That's strange. Because it has the weird, um, don't shoot at children's faces, uh, Lego warning, and it seems to show that this thing shoots forward, but how does that work? Do you just squeeze the side? Kind of pops out, not really shoots out, but I am guessing that's what they mean. If you don't do it properly, it doesn't even shoot out. I don't even know why they made that a thing. That, that, this is like the biggest gimmick. So I find it really odd that they release these characters from The Incredibles before releasing all of the Incredible family members. We have the three triplets, Mr. Scrooge. So we should be able to get Mr. Incredible, Elastigirl, Dash, and Violet. Maybe even the new baby. Forgot his name. Jack Jack. I had to search because I forgot his name. I always just call him the baby. Well, there you have it. I tried to show you the entire series one and two as quickly as I could. And in the future, I plan to have a nice sort of display case or display frame to put all these pieces in. So I am actually really happy with the lineup that Lego and Disney released so far. First priority, I would like to see the rest of the Incredibles being released. I would like to see Abu from Aladdin need to get Woody and Jesse. I would like to see a Lilo to go with Stitch. Stitch is just here and lonely. And why not? Let's get more of the Alice in Wonderland gang. And maybe Ariel with her human feet in her human form. Other than that, I am glad they released what they did. And I will be very happy to continue getting more if they release a series 3. And stay tuned for more LEGO videos in the future. LEGO is a toy form I greatly enjoy and I randomly buy them and I will slowly make videos showing them off.